Hello Math staff, this is a video to help explain how to um, add assessment tasks or change assessment tasks so that they can contain uh, existing tests or assignments that you want to give to your students. Um, so the first short video will be going to courses, going to mathematics, going to your course and we're going to change this one at the Modify course level, so the three dots at the top of the course, modify courses should be done by the convener or one nominated person. You'll see all the units are already there. Let's assume all the units are already there. A couple of things we could do. We could go within one of the units and we could add a new task. So I'll add a new task. I'll call it um, practice sack two. I wanted to put another practice sack up, for example, practice sack two. Um, it is an assessment task. This is how we've done all of the others. The difference is, with all of our other assessments, we have not accepted online submission. We've left that off, which means that students do not submit work. But for these ones, we do want to accept online submission. We want our students to hand in something electronically. Just one time. And I'm not going to put on the similarity, similarity checker for a maths tester exam. I don't think that makes sense. Essentially, much of their work will be similar. I don't even know if it checks mathematical working. That's the plagiarism checker. I don't think that makes sense. So we'd leave that off. Activity duration is interesting. If we set that to one day, it's going to already be pre-populate some dates so they're just one day long. That'll help later on. Um, it's a percentage task. It's visible to staff, students and parents once so we've finished. Um, we're not using waiting yet. It's just the same as ever before and you would create it. If you did want to attach a test or SAC or assignment or something, you would literally get it off your desktop and drag it in there like we do with, in so many other places in MassCom. Just drag it there. You could also click and um, um, find the file in your own files. My file um, and go look or upload a file. Click in here, sorry, and go and you know, find a file. I might have one on my desktop. I think I do have one on my desktop. I might go to my desktop and there might be one called... Doesn't matter, you get the idea. Test document three. Click, bang. It's attached. It's a tiny little document. Upload. It's much easier to drop and drag in there. Create. There is now a new task called Practice Act 2 within the Polynomials, Cubics and Cortex. Another thing you might like to do is go to an existing task. Let's imagine later on this semester we wanted to modify this second sack. I'll just modify the second sack here. I already have early today while I was playing. I'll allow submissions. I'll make it one day. I won't turn on the similarity checker and I will attach a file here. When it comes to that, I'd attach the actual sack here. Just drop and drag, etc. Save. So what we've done, um, what we've done in our courses is we've modified the SAC 2 by attaching a document and allowing submissions and we've also added another practice SAC which allowed submissions and had something attached. 